Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at two more of the newer functions that Excel released in Microsoft 365, and those are Wrap Rows and Wrap Calls. Again, these are only available in Microsoft 365, so let's take a look and see how these work. So here are the two functions, and as you can see, they're structured very similarly. Wrap Rows and Wrap Calls. They both require a vector, the wrap count, and then the pad width. The vector is the data that you want to wrap. The wrap count is the maximum number of values in each row or column. And then pad width is the value with which you want to pad. And normally it'll default to NA, but you can choose if you want to put a space or any other text in that area. So let's see a couple examples here. So here's my data, so just a list of names. And if I want to do the wrap rows function, I'll type equals wrap, I'll choose wrap rows. My vector, again, is this list here, comma. Now my wrap count is the maximum number of values in each row. So if I want to put three values in each row, I'll type a three. The pad width attribute is optional, so I could just close my parentheses, hit enter, and you can see, since I put three in the max count per row, it put three in each row. And since there was an odd number, we ended up with one NA, which is the default for the pad width. But if we want to change that, we can add that option. I'll put a comma, and let's say I'll just put double quotes, which will generate a blank. I hit enter and now we have a blank there. And this is a typical dynamic array, so you can see there's that light blue line around all the data, and I can only edit the very first cell. None of the others can I say delete or modify at all. So if I wanna change this to having, say, four items in each row, I could put a four, hit enter, and because we have that double quotes in the pad width option, it just put blanks where there is no data. The wrap calls is virtually the same structure. So I would type equals wrap calls. My vector, again, is my list this way, comma, and what's my wrap count? Again, the maximum number I want in each column. So I'm going to put a five and I'll put double quotes to take care of the pad width option. Hit enter and now I have five items in each column and a blank where there's not enough values to fill that column. And that's how the wrap rows and wrap calls functions work in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.